What's the mindset right now? Win one pitch at a time. Just start getting your minds right. Um, go ahead and clean your stuff up and so that when they do say go, then we can get down in the dugout, warm it up, and, and we'll be ready. They kept it a secret and they didn't tell Zane until we were literally about to, to take the field to get rewarmed up. They're like, Zane, you got the ball. You want these last three outs? And I just kind of, I looked at him and I was like, smile, like this is going to be fun. After a three hour weather delay, we're ready for the ninth inning. Patriots on top by a score of six to five. At two and two, Russell's pitch. Line drive, snagged by Sosa. A diving catch. Oh my, what a play by Andres. The Patriots are one win away from Omaha on a sensational grab by Andre Sosa at first base to win it. BBU claims a 6-5 win and a thriller here in Columbia. Hey, one more, one more. That is absolutely incredible. God is so good. Andre Sosa with the defensive play of the year. That ball absolutely stung, and it would have tied the game. Sosa was moving to his left. He went straight horizontal. And you said it, partner, one more win to Omaha. I knew that if I did what I did and executed our game plan and approach, that I'd put ourselves in a good situation. Pitchers are, are fun for us pitchers, obviously, because it means we're, we're doing what we need to do to help the team win. Strike three, six up, six down for the sophomore right-hander out of El Reno, Oklahoma. What will Rhett go with here? Trying to go seven shutout and get us to the eight scoreless. In the second game of the Columbia Super Regional, Patriots a win away from Omaha for the first time in program history. The pitch, line to left field, heading towards Bell. He's there, jumps up, and he makes the catch. He nearly overran it. But he hauls it in, and we're going to the eighth, still scoreless. The pitch, this ball's hammered to left, deep, down the line, and gone. Virginia has taken a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the eighth inning. Keckley trying to get us into the ninth, where DB would only need one to tie. Hammered to left, deep, Bell is back, and a three-run home run has given Virginia a 4-0 lead. George from the left climbs in, a switch hitter. He is the tying run. The 1-0 from Whitten, fly ball, right field, Tappen coming over towards the line, reaches up and makes the catch. But Tappen ranges over, makes the grab, and we will have a winner take all game tomorrow in Columbia, South Carolina. Lord, thanks for another chance tomorrow. Um, another game to, to play together and to play for you. Amen. The postseason comes down to a single game to determine who is heading to the College World Series. Kyle Teal is on the warning track and right. The 3-2 pitch is hammered to left field. Way back, it doesn't matter how far he's playing back. Home run, Jackson Glenn. 2-0 Patriots in game three of the Supers. He screams into his dugout. The Pats have drawn first blood. That at bat right there typified what Jackson Glenn has done all year. Curveball grounded up the middle. Jones a long way to go. Dives to his feet. Throws to first. Out of the bag. What a sensational grab up the middle by Blaine Jones. Once it went in my glove, it's like, oh, I got to get up and fire this thing to first. And once we got that out, it's like, that's a good momentum. Put the tying run on, three and two, Gaither delivers, breaking ball, ground ball, long run for Glenn, he slides in the outfield, throws to first, are you kidding me? Unbelievable play by Glenn. No runs, no hits, no errors. You want defensive highlights, you just saw them. Having huge plays behind me, it just solidified the fact that, you know, it is 40 on one, and it takes every single person, and every single person was playing their very best baseball at that time. Going down there, obviously, 2-1 lead, getting late into the game, Really tried not to make the moment bigger than it was. That's on the outside corner. He went with the slider, and it's two and two. Sherlin's a strike away from getting out of it. Counting outs is one thing, but I'm counting pitches at that point. The 2-2. Two -two. High fly ball into right center field. Going back his town. He's at the track, jumping up, and it's gone. A grand slam home run, and Virginia has the lead. It's 5-2 in the seventh. Yeah, I threw the pitch and off the bat, I was like, just a routine fly to center, you know?
It definitely stings to be that close and not be able to, to come through for your team. First pitch from Wyatt. Town swing into center field. Newell is there right at the track. He makes the catch, and Virginia, they're headed to the College World Series as they dogpile out beyond the pitcher's mound. This dream season has finally come to an end, and what a ride it's been. One went away from the destination of Omaha, Nebraska, and the pinnacle of college baseball, and the Patriots fall just short. A 5-2 loss today to Virginia. We look down, Jackson Glenn left standing in that on-deck circle, just head bowed, and you can't imagine the emotion that he feels and all this, these seniors. Austin Bell's coming over. Bell, a fifth-year senior, hugging Glenn. Joyous moment right now for Virginia. This one hurts for the Pats. What a, what a run it was for the Patriots. They'll get a cheer for, from their crowd, the deepest that this team has ever gone. And right on the cusp of Omaha, and I'm with you, man. Like, you know, our, our fans listening and watching, their hearts are broken. Ours are, too. Uh, we're so close to getting this done. Uh, it shouldn't take away from, from what this club has accomplished. Uh, the most consistent team in the country whenever you consider those stats that you talked about, the 40-win seasons and going to regional after regional. But and this, this is a heartbreaker. It'll be a long off season as you get ready for 2022. I have an image of when the ball hit the bat and I was like, I don't think I got enough of it. Seeing them catch that ball, I mean, it just, it tore my heart. We know we are that good to compete in Omaha and have a chance to win it. We've gotten so close to where we wanted to be and somewhere the program's never been before. But after that game, just knowing that the relationships that we have and that this team that we have in 2021 will never be a team again, that's what, that's what was super hard. All we have is moments now. Like you, you can look back on footage, but like you're not going to get another chance with this team, you know, to to go win one of those crazy games like like we've done so well. At. Okay, I know. Like whatever I say now, probably not going to remember it, um, but I'll just say this: our life is not normal. talked from the very beginning that if, if, if baseball is your life it's gonna it's gonna let you down okay so what is our life it's about a relationship with God it's about living for him and so we won okay the way you guys went about it today we won our goal is to glorify God and I really think you guys did I think that it it's going to be a very consistent thing for Patriots to be in Super Regionals and punch their ticket to Omaha. There should be no reason why they can't show up to work every single day next year because you know the team in 2022 could be the team that breaks through. It was unreal to get that close. Um, it was tough to get that close at the same time and not kind of get over that hump, but I know it's going to happen. You know, next season's not too far away, so I'm started thinking about that. I'm thinking about the new guys that were coming in, you know, like we're losing a bunch of guys, but there's guys here that will step up and take on the same role. Yeah, DBU's in great hands. Uh, I will forever be a patriot.